So you're looking to breed sawtails, but you're not quite sure where to get started. Well, you're in luck, because in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. I've been doing this for the past four years. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I plan to breed my red wagtail sawtails that I'm showing you here. These are a super fun fish to keep, and they're excellent for beginners. The sawtails are something that we call a live bearer in the aquarium hobby. And basically what that means is they give birth to live young. So instead of like a traditional fish laying eggs like these guys do, what these guys do is they, they mate and then they give birth to actual live fry and it completely ignores the uh, egg process. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already seen some of my content, I make lots of aquarium related information videos as well as entertaining ones, so please consider subscribing. So without any further ado, let's get started on the video. Sawtail is one of the easiest fish to breed in the whole entire aquarium hobby and the chances are if you've already got some and you've got a male and a female, that they've already started to breed. So if you're not seeing fry, it's probably because they're being eaten. This is quite normal with any kind of fish. Fish normally do like to eat their fry. So it's important to make sure you have lots of hiding spaces available in the aquarium that, so that the fry can escape the parents and that they don't eat the fry. The way you can tell a male from a female is the males are quite a long, broad body like the one I'm showing you here. And females are generally more round and plump. Females will also have a gravid spot, which is seen under the abdomen. It's like a little dark little patch that I'm showing you guys here. Basically what will happen is you put these guys into an aquarium and they will just start to mate. They are such an easy fish to breed. And after 22 days it normally is, the females become very round and plump. Basically that means that they are ready to give birth. When they're ready to give birth, there's two things you can do. One thing is you can leave the fish in there and just let them give birth naturally and this will, not, this will stop them from stressing out. And I kind of recommend this one because basically what you have to have is plenty of hiding spaces available for the fry and she will give birth and only the strongest fry will survive. So you won't get as big a yield of fish, but you will get a better quality of yield. But the other thing you can do is you can use a fry divider box, which are available on my website. I actually have one here. So I don't have the grill for this on at the moment. But basically what this is, it sits on the top of the aquarium as I'm showing you here. And it sits up to the top of the aquarium and just floats like that. And basically what it has is like a nice little grill sitting right there. And what happens is you put the grill in and you put the female in right before she gives birth. And basically what happens is she'll give birth and all the fry will fall down to the bottom and it will stop her from being able to eat them. Now, I highly recommend having one of these. These come in super handy as well because you can also use this to separate sick fish. So definitely check that out. There's a discount code in the description below. It's like 10% off. Uh, that's for all the new customers. But I would definitely recommend getting one of these. These are super useful. Back to the video. So basically, what you need for these guys is a 10 gallon aquarium with a heater because these are tropical fish. And these guys are <laughs> super hardy. All you need is uh, as simple as a sponge filter. Just some basic filtration just in there to keep the tank nice and clean. And these guys will thrive. Feeding these guys is super easy too. I feed mine a mix of uh, frozen bloodworms and flakes. But you can feed these guys pretty much anything. They'll just take, eat, like these guys will even thrive on just flakes. And this is a perfect uh, fish for like any beginners. They're super easy to take care of and so low maintenance. I recommend like a 25% water change once every, once every week like I do with all my other fish. Except for these guys, I do a lot of water changes for them. Um, but yeah, these are also good community fish. You can stick these guys in with uh, like plecos. I mean, bristle nose plecos, <laughs> not, not, not big ones. They'll probably eat them. Pre plecos like guppies, uh, platies. I think, I think they can even breed with the platies. Um, and yeah, these guys do well in a planted aquarium too. Uh, I'd recommend keeping a planted aquarium if you're new to the aquarium hobby. This, I actually reckon planted aquariums are easier to keep than the, uh, the ones with fake plants, to be honest. But yeah, you'll need that. And basically just feed these guys once a day, keep them in there, lots of decorations, and these will breed for you. Okay, so after you've got your female pregnant, you're probably asking what to do. So what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that you give that female tons and tons of food, just keep her well nourished, and you've got to keep her as low stressed as possible just to make sure you get the healthiest batch of fry. Basically what these guys will do is you have to give them 20 to 40 days to get ready to give birth. And then after she's really, really round and plump, you'll notice that they get squared off. I don't have anything to show you here, but it will look basically like, if I can show you, it will look like a bit of a square like that. And you'll see that it squares off from the, from the gravid spot on the bottom of her abdomen up to her uh, bottom tail. And basically that tells me that they are ready to give birth in a couple of days. And once they give birth, you'll see tiny, tiny little fry, like very, very small. And they'll all be swimming around the aquarium. Now, uh, you can take these out after they've given birth. Um, it will, you know, like stress out some of the fish in the aquarium, but that's not a bad thing to do if you wanna get uh, 
grow them up yourself, uh, which is quite a satisfying thing to do. But feeding the fry is super easy too. Uh, if you have like ground food, I mean, if you have flake food, you can just grind that up and just spread it around. So there's lots of little tiny pieces for them to bite, but they will go around and eat algae and other nasty things in there, like little microorganisms. And uh, they, they will thrive. They're an awesome, awesome fish. So the way you tell if a female is actually pregnant is like I'm guaranteeing you if you have a male in there, they'll always be pregnant. But basically, if there's a very, very dark gravid spot underneath like her abdomen, that means that she is pregnant. So she's going to give birth in a couple, of, um, a couple of weeks. It's important that when you have fry that you feed these guys at least three times a day because they are trying to grow. And if these guys go without food for a day, they probably will die. I'm sure that they'll scavenge and they'll find stuff in there if you're away for a little bit. But uh, it's important to keep the fry well fed. And this will also make them grow real quick too. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. This is a super simple fish to keep. Basically, you just need water. Just add water in the fish and you will have success with these guys. But honestly, these are one of my favorite fish in the whole entire aquarium. Hobby. They are so beautiful and they look awesome. So I definitely, definitely recommend getting some if you're a beginner. And these are a great community fish. So put them in there with a bunch of other fish and just make yourself a beautiful display in your home aquarium. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already seen some of the content, uh, Welcome. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like down below too. Uh, and if there's something you'd like to see or want me to make, uh, I can definitely do that for you guys. So make sure you leave that in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.